Hi guys, it's Risa. How you doing? I just wanted to start off by saying thank you for subscribing. Continue to tell everybody. Um, I just uh, received a comment that somebody thought I have an accent. I laugh so hard. Do I sound like I have an accent? And yes, I do teach special education. People were asking me what I do. Um, I teach a kindergarten class. Um, I'm a special ed assistant and I work with kids with autism and I love it. And this is just something I love to do on the side um, because I love uh, Weight Watchers. I love healthy eating and um, I'm just trying to pay it forward to help you guys do the same thing. Um, how much have I lost? I've lost 120 pounds over several years. I lost 60 on my own and 60 with Weight Watchers for some of you that have been asking. So that's my journey. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a two ingredient with a few little other ingredients, but the main two ingredients for making pancakes. Yeah, so easy, of course, because you know, I love everything that's easy. I don't like all these fancy schmancy things. So all you're going to need is a nice size banana that's ripe and uh, two eggs. So for you of you on freestyle, it's zero points. And if you're still counting, it's four points, two points for the eggs if you're still just doing smart points. Um, so I have my eggs here and I have my banana. I did, oh, there it is, is my banana. So I'm just gonna take my banana and I'm just gonna put it in my bowl. Just break it up a bit. Um, and I have a little bit of some vanilla. You could add a little bit of cinnamon sugar and I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice, um, in it because I put lemon juice in everything. Well, I usually do anyways. I just love the flavor. If you don't want to, you don't have to. If you like lime or a little bit of orange, that would give it some nice flavor too, because I'm all about the flavor. Oh. Do you see this skillet back here? It's called The Rock. I got it at Costco. I love it. Non-stick, but you can use any frying pan, honestly. Okay, so I have my potato masher. And I'm just going to mash this banana up. All right. This is a good little workout, too. Just mashing this up. because you want the texture of the banana to get nice and creamy. Lots of great benefits to bananas. Lots of good potassium. And lots of good vitamins. All right. I'm going to mash it mash it mash it stir it up if you have like a little hand mixer you can use that you can use a fork whatever you have to just make it nice and creamy you see that nice and creamy sorry for banging all right whenever i open an egg up my mother taught me this so thank you mommy um i always break it up into a uh, bowl first just to check it make sure that it's nice and clean whisk it a little bit and add it so my skillet's getting nice and warm i have it at a medium high so that's one egg there's my second egg make sure you don't get any of the shells in it or you're gonna have a little crunch Okay, so here's my second egg. Mix, mix, mix. Add it in. Easy peasy so far. All right. Okay, where's my lemon? I had another piece, but that's okay. I'll just use this one. Oh, here it is. They took out the seeds already. Oh, I might have forgot one. And probably, you know, just, again, I just, I don't measure. I just put a little bit in probably about a teaspoon or so and I don't usually measure my vanilla either 
but I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon. I think that's all it needs. Just again for a little bit of some flavor. And you're just going to mix that together. Again, it's going to be a nice high protein, low fat, low carb, and of course, what's my favorite word? Delicious. Uh, I'm going to add a pinch of salt, just a pinch, a little bit, because there's a bit of salt in everything, and I don't like using a lot of salt. I'm all about the low sodium. That's another thing you always have to watch is your sodium levels, okay? All right. Take that out of the way. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, and then I just have a little spoon and I'm going to just angle the camera so you can see my stove, my new oven. Well, it's not that, up, not that new. And you're just going to put your mixture on your pan. And you can get Make them as big or as little as you want. You can hear that sizzle. Ah! And sometimes they run into each other. <laughs> That's going to be one big one. I'll just do a few at a time. All right, now. I have some cinnamon sugar. If you want to add that, you can do that. I'm going to add maybe a little bit on top of this one. Just sprinkle a little bit, maybe on this one. Not everybody likes it. Um, you can make your own equal parts cinnamon to sugar. Get my spatula out. And then just check. See how they're doing. Turn it down a bit. It might be a little bit high. Wait till it gets, um, you can't see it right here, but they're starting to bubble. So don't keep flipping them. Just wait till they bubble and then flip it. still not ready to flip yet so you have to check that's the whole thing guys you have to check things and um, keep an eye all right so they don't burn this one is starting to really get well done uh oh that one's pretty well done I wasn't watching all right that one's good. Don't do what I do. Maybe turn it down a bit. <laughs> they cook very quickly. about two minutes on either side. I'll just put these on. I put, turned it down. Let's turn this one over. That's better. This one, just put it right there. Okay, so um, here they are. <laughs> couple got a little bit darker than I usually eat um, have a little bit of fruit on the side and if you want you can use whatever syrup I'm just going to turn that right down I don't want to burn all of them so I love Joseph syrup you can use whatever syrup you like 
If you want, you could sprinkle on a little bit of chocolate syrup because you know me, I'm a big chocolate fan. Add a little bit of Cool Whip on the side. That's delicious. Or you can sprinkle a little bit of your favorite um, icing sugar. Um, I love the Swerve. Um, I buy it at the low carb grocery store here in Canada. Yes, I'm from Canada, people. Um, but you can go on Amazon and uh, it's really good. The one thing about Swerve, you can, um, you don't have any aftertaste at all. So I just can sprinkle some of that on and make it look really pretty. So if you have company, and even if you don't have company, it looks so cute and pretty. Anyways, I hope you love this recipe. Have it with some other fruit if you want, and your coffee or your smoothie or your tea, whatever you want. And uh, please subscribe and continue to watch my videos. I love all the comments, keep them coming. And please share and visit me, you know, at Reese's Recipes and Weight Watchers Tips for lots of inspiration, motivation, and let's help each other on this journey, okay? Bye for now.